Kevin doesn't have to worry about what people are going to say about him wearing a dress because of the long line of dress wearing people before him. <laughs> Definitely have ran in a, to put on the dress. Uh, I mean, you know, you, you have to have you have to have boundaries. You have to have limits that you refuse to cross. Wow! 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 I I don't think anyone saw this one coming. It's Chappelle. Another. What's up, YouTube? It is your boy once again. <laughs> With another episode of Foolery. Cat Williams. My man Cat Williams. Brother done set it off on the internet. Cat said a whole bunch of stuff. But a couple things kind of stuck with me. When he said that about them having to compromise themselves and put on a dress. Why do they need these black comedians to put on a dress? No one really came out and answered so the question always stands like why they have to put on a dress to be funny when they're already comedians. And then it just doesn't make sense that you have to do that to make it in the industry. Oh, uh, no. But Cat, hey, man, Cat put it out there and we're going to run through it. There's some other movie stars talking about it. And uh, let's rock with it, man. Let's see what they got to say. But before we kick it off, y'all know what to do. Y'all definitely hit that subscribe and hit that notification so you can get the next video. Now let's get this thing popping because these people got something to say. Let's go. Tell me, this man asked you if you ever decide not to be a man to call it like that and you was okay with that, you know? The time when you play a gay role, it's just to shut down black masculinity. It's to shut it down, to kill the alpha. But certain dots, like when I see that they put every black man in the movies in a dress, so Omar Gooding just stirred up some arguments on social media after claiming that straight black actors are pressured into doing gay roles as part of their contracts. Omar claimed that his career suffered because he refused these types of roles, and he called out actors who step on their principles for fame and money. And as you might remember, Omar isn't the first actor to talk about this. Dave Chappelle, Cat Williams, and Terrence Howard all previously claimed that there's an agenda in Hollywood to humiliate black men. And while some fans are praising, fans are praising Omar for speaking out on this, others are calling him ignorant and claiming he's spreading conspiracy theories. But what exactly did Omar say about Hollywood pressuring black actors into gay roles? Let's get into it. So what did he say? Oh, everybody puts on a dress. Not everybody. Mm -hmm. I ain't seen Denzel put on nair lip gloss. I ain't seen that boy do anything where I've been like, oh, no, you too? Omar Gooding, the older brother of Cuba Gooding Jr., had a lucrative career as a child actor and was one of the original hosts of the Nickelodeon show Wild and Crazy Kids from 1990 to 1992. Later appeared in a number of hit TV shows like Deadwood, Family Time, Barbershop, Hanging with Mr. Cooper, Playmakers, and Smart Guy. Still, despite his talent, Omar never managed to get that leading man title in big budget Hollywood movies. And according to Omar, that's because he said no too many times when offered to play gay characters. So is it really... Is it really that important to put that in your contract that you will play gay roles when needed? I'm pretty sure, because I know some actors, they put in theirs, they're not kissing another woman. Um, Ice Cube does not do any romantic scenes kissing of any type with uh, Caucasian women. Uh, there's certain things certain people put in their contracts. But then you put one to... Someday down the line, we want to put you in a dress and you sign off on that. How? I don't know. I don't know. I know they flashed that money in front of you, but what else will you do for that money? And that's what Kat's saying. Say, if you if you will get that money and, and do this, what else will you do if they put that money in front of you? And that's why he made that joke about P. Diddy. He said, Gee, P. Diddy liked the party, and you got to tell him no. You got to tell him no. Oh, you'd have been in the, <laughs> you see what's going on with him right now. Yeah, you'd have been on somebody's phone. Shoot. We got enough brothers out here sword fighting. So we don't need any more of that going on. To be clear, Omar believes that straight actors are not literally forced to do gay roles, and they still have the power to say no. However, he said that most actors aren't patient enough to wait for the right role and let their work speak for itself. <laughs> And instead, they want that instant success. And in Hollywood, instant success allegedly comes with certain conditions in your contract. 
So this idea that Hollywood has an agenda to emasculate black men by pressuring them to play gay characters isn't exactly new. For years, rumors have been circulating that big shot Hollywood producers pressure black actors and comedians to wear dresses on screen before they're allowed to climb to that next level of fame. You know, I've always been curious, like just curious why our black women hadn't got upset or said something about them imitating them because for each and every one of these women that they come out imitating looks like somebody in the family. I shit you not. Just look at them. They always look like somebody in somebody's family. So, I mean, I'm just saying. Dave Chappelle spilled the beans on this shortly after he turned down a $50 million contract from Comedy Central and escaped to Africa. After he returned, Dave appeared on The Oprah Show and explained that he didn't turn down the money, but rather the conditions that came with it. He then recalled an incident when the producers tried to pressure him into wearing a dress while filming a movie with Martin Lawrence, and when he said no, they tried to make him look crazy. Dave said the dress didn't even make sense for the scene, but then the director and the producers all ganged up on him, trying to pressure him into putting on the dress. They come in, the writer comes in, I think he's the writer, he's like, Dave, listen, you got this hilarious scene where Martin's sneaking out of jail, so he disguises you as a... <laughs> And he put this dress on and it all They only backed down when they realized Dave wasn't going to change his mind. And they had another script ready, showing that the dress wasn't really needed. So basically, it was just a test to see if he'd bite. Now, fast forward to Kevin Hart, who, when asked about Dave's dress drama, laughed it off, saying he'd never do anything to compromise his brand. Uh, I definitely haven't ran into putting on the dress. <laughs> I mean, you know, you, you, have to have, you have to have boundaries, you have to have limits that you refuse to cross, you know, protecting my brand is, is definitely a priority. But then a few years later, Kevin showed up on SNL rocking a dress and suddenly his career blew up. Now that there's what we call one handsome female. Yep, that fella there's, she quite handsome. Yep, that's what we call her. That same year, Cat Williams was talking about this dress controversy while promoting Scary Movie 5, and he claimed that this is something that's been going on in Hollywood for years. If you sign up for their program, you get a light-skinned, weird face wife that never do an interview. Oh, in man, 20, listen, in 20 years, won't do an interview. Nobody's ever talked to her, and that she's never been interviewed anywhere. I don't hang out with ugly people. Dave Chappelle, another great comedian, said that, you know, in the industry, they tried to make him wear a dress. Have you ever ran into that with, with scripts? And <laughs> and is that something that, you know, you wouldn't do, you know, for... for... Uh, I definitely haven't ran into to put on the dress. Uh, I mean, you know, you, you have to have... You have to have boundaries. You have to have limits that you refuse to cross. And they, you got to know that you're a brand. Yeah. I'm a brand. Uh, you need to protect your brand at all times. When things happen that can possibly affect your brand, your your brand can be diminished, and and you don't you don't want that to happen. So, so is it true? Did all the great comedians put on a dress? Just take a look, and you tell me.